You're one of the artists in South Africa. Is it true? Yeah, I guess <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. So, how long have you been in the field? Ooh, 11 years now. 11 years? Including studying. Okay. So, you consider yourself a professional actor? I'm a professional actor, writer. I'm very professional. Okay. I'm not, I'm not a wannabe at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell me the state of uh, the arts in current South Africa. Like in how? Like in terms of uh, for, 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 for 11 years of experience and academic, do you think we have improved largely artistically? Artistically and knowing stuff, we have improved. Uh, but the decline, I would say, is the recognition of the arts. And by recognition, I don't mean like getting awards and touring overseas and blah, blah, blah. I mean recognition as in that people recognize that this is a job. This is not a hobby. This is not where you say, oh, I've just failed doing medicine. Let me just go and be an actor. Or let me go and be a writer. Or let me just go and do this. Th this is a profession. You know, that recognition that this is a profession and that respect to say this is a profession. And for s most of us who have come to it as a profession, then we give it that recognition. But Yona, as in arts, we have learned even more. I'm better than what I was like 11 years ago. I have more knowledge than what I had 10 years ago or 8 years ago. But I find that the decline is in that anything, whatever I do, anyone thinks they can do it. Okay. As much as I wouldn't go and say, okay, let me go and operate a person who has a, a, a heart problem. I don't think anyone must just say, okay, I can just become an actor. You know, I can just, you know, be an actor. Anyhow, just because I feel like it today and tomorrow if I don't feel like it, I'm not going to be that. As much as I wouldn't go and say, um, let me go and operate a person. So I, I think that respect, we don't have it as artists at all. And, uh, and it's not going to take time for us to be given that recognition that this is a profession. This is not a, a place to come and play around just when you feel like it. <laughs> so tell me, I uh, understand that uh, you consider yourself as an artist. Yeah, boo. How long have you been an artist? Uh, for 11 years now. For 11 years? 11 years, oh. yeah. Including studying for yeah. drama and performing arts and bloody blah, blah, blah. Wow, that, that's brilliant. Well, I tell me something as an, a very experienced and academic actor, I mean artist, if I may put it so. Tell me the state of the arts in current South Africa. Oh, the arts have grown as in the work that we do, you know. The only thing that I feel hasn't grown is the recognition, you know. The recognition and saying of being true to what we are doing and being given that respect as an artist. In this industry, anyone can just come, any wannabe can say, oh, I want to be an actor, oh, I want to be a writer, oh, I want to be a producer. And it's not actually it's because that they know what they're doing. It's just because if they get that opportunity, they can mess it up or, or even use it or whatever. But we, we don't get the respect. And th that is the painful thing is that if you are an artist and you are dedicated to what you do, and then you have people who just come here, this is a hope, this is what they just want to do for five minutes and or get whatever they want to get into it or get famous and they can't go and do it. They don't treat it as a profession. To us, this is a profession. This is what I do. And I don't see any other thing that I want to do except being in, in this industry that I am in. So the recognition is that we're not given that respect, you know. There's not that true thing of saying, this is a profession, like in other countries, that it's treated, this is a profession. You just don't say, oh, today I feel like acting, let me go and act. You know? So how does that make you feel as an artist? No, obviously it doesn't make me feel good, <laughs> obviously. Uh, because I cannot go out there and say, okay, today I feel like going operating somebody's heart. Because you have to have the skills to do that. And I cannot just wake up today and think, let me just go and do it. But in acting, that is why the people don't give us the respect. Even the parents, when a child says, I want to be an actor, they say, no, 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 no. And I don't blame them. I would say the same thing to my child. Because it's, it, it's a ground for anyone, any Tom, Dick and Harry to come and play in. So no one is going to give it respect. No one is going to think it's something that is serious. 
So for those people, because there's so many people in the industry who are professionals, who are treating this place like a profession, who this is their business. I mean, when you are an artist, you are a business person. You sell yourself, you market yourself with your body, with your voice, with your writing, with whatever skill that you have, you market yourself. So to those people who treat it like a business, like a profession, then it, obviously, like me, I don't feel very good about it that anyone can just come here. I mean, these days you have people going to, uh, advertising and saying, oh, let's do a, 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 a show about actors. If you can, if you think you, are, you can read lines and blah, 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 come and audition and we'll put you on this series. And I mean, that's not treating the people who are doing the profit. I know producers are making money out of that. It's good for them. They're going to be millionaires, but it's not good for the artists because you, you, you're degrading our profession. Just, just anyone, you can just announce on radio or TV that, oh, do you want to act? Come audition one day and then you're fine. You're cool. We're going to select you. We'll go to Cape Town, Deb, and blah, 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 and wherever. And we'll audition you and then you come and then you'll be on this series. You'll be on this soapy. And, you know, so people obviously are not going to take it as a profession. They're going to take it as a playground. That, that's how it's treated right now. It's just anyone can come and play. So, uh, what's your input concerning this, uh, what they call it, search for the star, this? That's exactly what I'm talking about. That's a search for the star. I mean, do you ever say, let's go and search for a doctor, let's go and search for a teacher? You go and study for that. You know, no one has ever said that. That's the respect that I'm talking about. You, you go and study. If you want to be a teacher, if you want to be a doctor, I'll go to university, even at this age. If I want to be a doctor, I have to go and study. They'll check my results, my metric results. Can I qualify to even study for being a doctor? But today you have them searching for a star, you know. Anyone can just come and say, okay, I'll do it. So that's the thing that once you do that, I'm not saying they shouldn't do this. I'm saying it makes money for the producers. I know that. But then if when they do it, they be bring in the thing that there's no respect. And then when as a parent, a child says, when I complete metric, I want to go and study drama. I wouldn't say yes if I was a parent, if they search for a star. I will say, go and be a star. Go, They'll search you one day and then one day they'll find out that you are talented. You know, I wouldn't want to pay thousands for a child to go and study drama if there's things like search for a star. Why so, would I bother? So for you, you, you don't mind if the government can, can cancel or demolish all the departments of drama that they attend? I don't mind because this is a playground for anyone. What, what's the point of saying you, you go to Verts, you go to Natal University, you go to UCT to go and study drama? What's the point? If, if afterwards you're not going to be treated as a professional, you're just going to be treated as one of whoever, anyone who can just pitch up and say, I can do this from nowhere. So what is the point of, being, of saying you're going to study? Believe me, I wouldn't, even my niece, I wouldn't encourage my child, even a relative's child, to go and study drama. I would never, because it's useless. What is the point? It's, I know it's not useless from what they learn. I'm not saying what they learn in the institutions, because I'm also from there. I'm not saying that what they learn is okay. What they learn is brilliant, and it's good. It's the foundation, and it, it opens up your mind. You know, when you meet people who have never who haven't gone deeply into knowing what is this profession about. You can just hear it from the way they speak, that they've just, you know, it's just up here. There's nothing beneath. It's, that's the foundation. It's good foundation. I mean, and, and you know, you sort of, your mind is open and you know what's happening and you know what you want, you know which channel you, you want to go through in this industry. But then what I'm saying is, what is the point of having that when afterwards, I'm not going to be treated like a professional. I mean, if a person goes and study to be a doctor or be a teacher or be a lawyer, they are treated with that respect that, okay, now you are a lawyer. Now you've, you know, you've, you know, in lawyers, there's the, the institution where you say you have to pass this so that you can be this and that and that. that they have things that they go through. In here, you have your degree. I don't care if you can have a master's in performing arts or whatever. It doesn't matter. So what is the point of having to pay thousands in institutions when when you finish it's not gonna help you in any way but there are people who say artists is how they handle themselves they've got big hairs they wear dirty clothes they don't present themselves professionally no that is generalizing that that is not the truth that that is not the truth and uh, artists they have obviously they have different behaviors i mean they're, they're, they're eccentric people, most of them. It's the, how they express themselves. There are people who are free to express themselves.
because believe me there are teachers who would love to do that who have whatever crazy hair and dress crazily but the because of their inhibitions then they will hold themselves and say oh no no i must look like this because of this you know in this industry no one cares how you look like but when you go to an audition if you know that they want someone who's bourgeois and looks like oh, oh, then you're gonna look like that if they want someone who looks like a hobo you're gonna look like a hobo you you do your work before you go into an audition it's not like it's your everyday thing you know you you do your work before you go to an audition so as an artist uh, how do artists survive since there are no jobs for them they struggle <laughs> it's a common thing it's a well-known thing they struggle even artists that who have made it i mean it doesn't mean that people some people think that you're right now you're on screen for a series let me say example for example Kazlam. then oh this person has money and you find that you've shot that like two months ago you are so broke right now you have not even had a cent so because there's a period where you're gonna be unemployed the, you know it's a it's a world of unemployment you must know there's a time when you're gonna be unemployed <laughs> you know, that's just it so you struggle you can't say okay you can obviously you can buy a house you can buy a car but then there's no security it's not like a person who knows i have a, a salary every month you don't have a salary every month you know if i buy a house i'm taking a huge risk because i may be employed for the six months in the next six months of the year, I'm not employed. So that it's a struggle. Mm. But they are saying artists, when they get money, they boost money, they buy clothes, they waste money. Some of them do. Yes, I agree. Some of them do. And some of the other thing that it does that is because when you get money, you've been like starving for years. <laughs> for, like starving for like three years. And then you get 120,000 in like three weeks. When you really, what do you think a person who's been starving for the past three years and then in three weeks they get 120,000, what are they going to do? They're going to go wild. It's a natural thing. It's a natural thing. You're going to go wild. So it takes a strong personality. I'm not saying it's right. It just takes a strong personality to say, I must, you know, be responsible with this money. I must, but it takes individual, a certain individual, a strong personality. But at the same time, I understand. You know, if you've been staying in a one room in Yeoville where there's like one bed and one window and you have a two plate stove and then here now you are going to be getting paid 120,000, obviously you're going to say, oh, let me move to Randberg. <laughs> and you find that after that three weeks for the next year, you're unemployed and you can't afford that Randberg flat that you've just rented. Mm -hmm. So how's the government uh, do with art in South Africa or artists? I personally, as Bong, I know most people say the government must do this, the government must do that. Personally, I don't like the involvement of government in the arts. It's nice because they can provide financially. Because the thing is, why I'm saying personally is because I'm not a political person. I feel that once you involve the government in the arts, there won't be any freedom of expression. I don't care who says what. I mean, if the government gives me a chunk of like two million right now, there is no way I'm going to do a play that is anti-government. That is just the truth. I'm going to do... So you see, I'm not going to be creative. I'm just going to be a mouthpiece of the government just because I got two million out of them. You know, I feel that the government can put money into the arts, but then they must stand out away. You know, they must just stand away from it because this is a creative... In, in art, you send messages and you question peop the way people think when you write plays or you do a drama, a television drama or whatever, or you talk about how people socialize, their lifestyles and blah, blah, blah. But then once you so involved with the government, you're not going to be objective, <laughs> obviously, because that's where you get your money from. You're not going to cut the hand that feeds you. So personally, I really don't like that much involvement of the government. You know, they can make structures like to say, like I know, we, we not like other professions. Our professions, like we sign contracts, we don't have a basic structure of saying we have medical aid or, you know, a security kind. They can make those structures for us, but I don't like the, you know, hands-on involvement of the government because you're not going to have freedom of speech. And it's not because you're going to say they're not allowing you to have the freedom of speech. 
But honestly, truthfully, anyone knows that. If I get money from the government right now, they give me two million. There is no way I'm going to question what the government does. I'm just going to be their mouthpiece. And then to me, that's not freedom of speech. So most artists die poor, uh, Bongiwe. What is being done to avoid that? Nothing really. Artists also have to be clever. <laughs> you must know that there's a you can pay thirty rands a month so that you are buried nicely <laughs> for insurance. Now I'm joking, but the thing is, um, they die poor because they struggle. They struggle, and when we are an artist, as I said, like let's say you're shooting a series like Gazlam or Chacha or whatever. You shoot it for that three months and for the rest of the year you could have other little bit of jobs people have seen you on these things on tv and then they want to use you blah blah or nothing at all so let's say nothing at all for the next two years obviously when you die you're not going to have money there's no money that's going to come from anywhere you're going to be poor you know but at the same time as you i said before if you get a lot of money after having been starving, it takes a certain individual to plan and say, okay, I'm going to save such money for those times, for, you know, the bad times. So do, do you think that, um, <coughs> I'm sorry about that, sorry. So do you think um, what, what can be done from the artist and the government to make this place one professional place that anybody can enjoy first of all we must all be recognized without saying that you recognize because you know so and so or because this and that and that there must be truth you know i know it's very hard in the world to have <laughs> truth because you find that um you recognize only certain individuals. There are so many good artists out there. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. But there's no platform for them to, to be heard, you know. So the only people who are only going to be recognized is like, I don't want to mention names, is so and so because they did that like 20 years ago, 30 years ago, whatever. But it doesn't mean that there's no one who just came to the this industry like two years ago who's not as brilliant as those people recognize the same people the people in the same level equally you know everyone must be given that opportunity there must be also the trust that if this person doesn't matter whether they came to the industry three years ago if their work is good that work could be put on a platform and, and stuff like that okay. so what is the difference between an artist and a celebrity Celebrity is what the media has created because you have artists who are celebrities and you have artists who are not celebrities yet. Celebrities is what's created by the media. And I mean, they also doing it to get money, the media. They know this is what the people want to know about these people they see on TV. Most people who are on TV are celebrities. But the word celebrities was created by the media. Artists are artists. But a celebrity can be those wannabes that I was talking about, that anyone can come into this industry just because they felt today they want to be an actor. And they can be a celebrity overnight. But doesn't make them an artist. It doesn't make, it really make them a true artist. It just makes them a celebrity. A celebrity because they're created by the media. And what I find with mostly, if we go to the celebrity kind of thing, is that it's not, a person once they appear on TV, the media people, I find that they have no truth whatsoever. Because I've heard them saying, oh, so and so, so such a brilliant actor. And those person are like crap. They act rubbish. And you're like, really? They, they, we don't have the truth. I mean, if I go and do something and it's rubbish, I expect people to say that. I would love it when people say that. Because I think that will make us grow. I believe that will make us grow. We don't grow. You have crap dramas on SABC because people are going to say on the papers, oh, brilliant. And people are sitting at home and like, yeah, what? 
This is rubbish. Say so. Why don't they say so? Once a person appear on TV, they say, oh, one of the best actors in South Africa. And you're thinking, huh? What? Just because they appeared on TV now, they are the best actor. I think we should be telling each other the truth. I would love to f hear the truth. If you think it sucks, it sucks. Just say so. Just say so. Don't say, no, it's beautiful, blah, blah, blah. If it sucks, it sucks. Because I think if it sucks and you tell that person, then that person would grow. Then those producers or those writers or whoever is behind it, they're going to learn. They're going to learn from their mistakes and say, okay. Because now things, like, things start, some of them start on a high note. They are really good. And they go down because there's all this praise and like, or people start in a bad place and they don't grow. I'm not saying when you start, even if I can have something to produce on TV, maybe I'll start and do something that's not really that good. But then, if I am told the truth, tell me, no, it sucks because of this and this and this. Then I would go back and sit and say, what is it that I didn't think about? What is it that I didn't do? Let me try and do that. Let me put it there so that we can grow. We won't grow because we don't tell each other the truth. Everything is just beautiful. I mean, there's been South African movies. And everyone's saying, I mean, there's so many of them. Some of them I'm going to go and watch because they're South African movies. But I've heard people saying, oh, they are such crap. Friends of mine who've watched them. And some of them that I've watched, and I'm like thinking crap. And the only reason that, that I went to watch them, first of all, is because they're South African movies and I support that. Second of all, because I was told they're brilliant. And I go and sit there and I'm bored. And I'm thinking, this is rubbish. But those newspapers told me it was brilliant. Why don't they speak their truth? Why don't they say, with Hollywood movies, they speak the truth. They would tell you that, no, that movie done by Will Smith was rubbish. And what, why, I, what are they afraid of? Why don't they say the truth? Just because it's a South African movie, you're just going to say it's brilliant even if it's rubbish. If it's rubbish, write that it's rubbish. And, and tell them why is it rubbish? Why is the story doesn't work? What is it the actors don't work there? What is it that doesn't work? So that the next time that director or that writer would do something better. Because we go there and like, I read in the newspaper, ooh, I'm not going to mention those movies. But I'm like, oh, I've read, read in the newspapers, it's like beautiful, like brilliant, one of the most brilliant movies. And, and I go there, I'm like, huh? What is this? Yes. Really